Hey guys, it's John. <clears throat> right, I've um, managed to get a replacement common for my Bruce Dickinson records and uh, Judas Priest. A um, bit long-winded as uh, process um, than normal uh, when I've needed uh, replacements from Amazon. But um, yeah, luckily I took video and photos of it anyway so I can send that to their uh, customer services uh, so replacement on the way cool um, I had three other vinyl that um, came and they actually came in proper decent packaging this time and uh, I missed these on Saturday these came and uh, I had to wait till today to pick them up so I'm gonna have what they are These um, cool things used to be a lot easier than they are now. They used to come, a, come away straight away. Now they break into loads a little bit. Right. Uh, right, first one. Ah, yes. This cost me £9.99 on Amazon. Um, you may have to pay a bit extra. Because... Um, don't pay, pay VAT in Guernsey. Um, so yeah, this is um, the new studio album. Well, it came out last year by um, Alice Cooper, and uh, this is the uh, two LP, 180 gram vinyl, and uh, includes 12 brand new songs. And six previously unreleased Alice Cooper classics live. And uh, I'm assuming that must be on the other record, but it doesn't say on the back. Um, yeah, it's just got the normal track list in there. Um, this album features Billy Gibbons, of ZZ Top, Roger Glover, Deep Purple. And uh, the original Alice Cooper band. I've got this on uh, CD. And it is very good. It's very 70s. Um, I haven't listened to it a huge amount. Because I've got so much stuff to listen to. So I'm going to open that. Show you what's inside. I'll try and keep that hype sticker. This one's turned up, sleeve looking good, no damage like my last lot of records. So there it is out the uh, sleeve. So look inside, gatefold, cool picture of Alice. And, um, or should I say Vincent Fernier. Uh, first record out the bag. like that this has got paranormal dead flies fireball paranoiac falling in love dynamite road and private public breakdown with the lyrics there check this out check the vinyl vinyl's looking uh, spot on Custom Alice Cooper labels. It's the first record. This really is um, a very good record for the money I got it for. It actually cost me less than the um, Digipack CD. <laughs> this has got Holy Water, Genuine American Girl. Uh, you and your friends, rats. The sound of a, oh, the sound of a. On there. I'm sorry. To... Don't know where these uh, extra songs are. So that's that. But 
look really cool. I bet you that it's a download card for the other songs. And you know how much I hate downloads. The only time I ever download something or not download it or put it onto a disc is if I create my own playlists on new iTunes and I put the actual CD into the computer and uh, burn it and then put it onto a CD so it's got my track listing that I want. Um, that's the only time. And oh yeah, this has actually got a CD. Um, and that's the only other time. Um, or actually, if the album's never going to be released on CD or album, so so we've got this little CD. Uh, this is live in Columbus, May sixth, two thousand six. Uh, it's got No More Mr. Nice Guy, Under My Wheels, Billion Dollar Babies, Feed My Frankenstein, Only Women Bleed, School's Out. And this is a German one. Where's that? And the CD, what's that look like? Just looks like the, uh, like that. That's that. That was actually a really good, I'm really chuffed with that, to be quite honest. Um, let's just hope it plays okay, but for the money, that was, go and check out Amazon and get that now, because that's brilliant, <clears throat> I'm going to stick that one up there, okay, so, uh, the next one is, um, Another one here. That one opens straight away. Oops. What is this one? Ooh, yes. I know a lot of people love this album, and I do too. It's um, oh, it's blinking, buckled a bit in the corner. Typical way. That must have been done before they packed it, because the box is fine. And it is um, Angel of Retribution and uh, Judas Priest, Gatefold. The song I can't stand on here is Loch Ness. I love Loch Ness. I stayed there before and visited loads of times and feels like a second home when I go there, that Scotland and that. But that song is just dire. I hate it. The rest of the album is brilliant. So, um, am I going to send it back for that? We'll see. A bit dented up there as well. A little bit. I will have a little whinge at uh, Amazon for that and see. Um, Do, do, do. I'm trying to open it, by the way, if you're waiting patiently. Ooh. Actually, this has been biffed around a bit. I don't know whether I want to open it. You can see there, you can just see it now. Look, look at the. Can you see the kink on the record there? Oh, I get fed up about having to ask them for um, replacements. It's not perfect at all. If the record's scratched, I will um, uh, message them and say, look, that's not good enough. Here's one of the records in a plain white sleeve. Which isn't polyline, so God knows how this is going to look. That one's actually alright. Not record. But there's still another record to go. It could be scratch. Let's see.
Did I show you the gatefold inside? No. So there's all the lyrics. I did buy this album when it came out, and um, do you know what? Like, it, I didn't get into it straight away. It took me a while. I still prefer um, uh, Redeemer of Souls over this. So. Well, there don't seem to be any s scratches on there. Seems to be okay. So um, maybe uh, maybe I'll ask them see what they want to do. But yeah, that's uh, Angel of Retrib Retribution. So over there. And last one. How long is this? 11 minutes. Oh, wow. I'm a bit late getting this one as well. Seeing as this is one of my favourite bands. I did listen to it online. Um... I still prefer the album before um, War of Kings and uh, it's uh, Europe, Walk the Earth. This one looks to be in great condition, as it should be, they're all brand new. This is on Hell and Back Recordings 2017, so um, let's open it up and have a look if I can get in it. I've not even bought this on CD, so I'm going to stick this on after another another listen. I listen to it online and obviously it's not as good as listening to the record or a CD. <clears throat> so there it is. inside um, that's a really great shot um, love the scenery and this is uh, apparently just up the road from where little Mickey lives he was messaged me and said it was up there and he'd missed out going to see the shoot <laughs> so that's a shame I would have loved to have been there as well just awesome so inside, we got it in a s lyric sleeve and thank you side and all that jazz. I haven't really, um, oh yes, this is um, white vinyl. And if you're not seeing white, you're colour blind. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. I was trying to say that I haven't really got a song on there that I can remember at case. <laughs> I've only listened to it once, so it's not an album that I could listen to once and was able to get into it. I'd have to listen to it a few times, but I was like that with um, um, the al the 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 bag of bones. I hated that album, um, and hates a strong word. Um, I wasn't too keen on the one with the song Always the Pretenders on it which I can't remember the title but you know Wal Walkings and Start From The Dark were my favourites um, of this century so and uh, I'm going to give that a few more goes and see if I can get into that a lot more um, but yeah, War of Kings and Start From the Dark, I got into the first listen straight away. Just absolutely, they blew me away. So yeah, there we go. And that one is going to go in place of Judas Priest for now. I need to put it in a sleeve. And uh, yeah, cheers for watching. Keep rocking. And um, yeah, might have some more on the way at some point. And... Um, I've got something else on the way um, that I've ordered, which I'll do a review of, because 
yes I'm looking forward to it it's not music wise it's not that it's electronic wise and that's it um, and then um, soon I'm getting another fish tank or off my brother so and some different fish as well, I'm gonna keep Oscar Oscar's as metal as he's he's like this when I got bitten by him I was like my god the fish like that really bite that hard I was like shit <laughs> but no he's um he's staying and the plek is going the two um uh, catfish are staying and I'm having two parrot fish so hopefully they get along so yeah see you later